had the great privilege of having some great basketball coaches in my life, start with my dad and all the way up through high school and college at Kansas and then uh, professionally. And it's something that I always enjoyed, uh, you know, being taught and then putting it into practice and seeing the fruits of it. I mean, I just think that that process was just uh, was incredible and it's something that is applicable not just to athletics but also in life as well and mm -hmm. you know when you think about you know wisdom or truly knowing something like you don't I feel you don't truly know something until you can do it yourself mm -hmm. and um, to be able to, to impart to receive from someone uh, to process it and then to be able to do it and then teach others um, is, is just is just a great way to live and, yeah. uh, and I'm always hungering you know for more um, you know whether it's in in fathering um, or you know in marriage um, or just uh, you know yeah. in, in how to fix a kitchen sink you know things that that need to be developed in me that wouldn't be able to take place without being a father you know um, you know, in terms of, you know, growth and maturity, you know, leadership, you know, learning how to love, learning how to serve. Um, I wouldn't be able to, you know, experience or grow, develop in those things apart from being a dad. You know, just like there, there are the hidden joys in being a father, I, I feel like there's hidden skill and wisdom and insight that are hidden in being a father as well. Um, and the great thing is, is it's, it's adventure every single day to be able to search those things out. You know, what joy am I going to experience from my children today? And what wisdom am I, I going to gain from my children today? Yeah. It's an adventure every day, you know, <laughs> waking up. I mean, you guys know. Yeah. I mean, you guys, you guys know. It's a, it's a literal adventure every day. You know, no day's the same. You know, and especially, you know, when you've got young ones, you know, that are just starting to talk, you never know what's going to come out of their mouth. But oftentimes, you know, what comes out of their mouth or in their mannerisms is a reflection of you. You know, I could remember being hit between my eyes several times, you know, seeing the way that my kids vent their frustration, whether it's verbally or body language. And I'm sitting there like, man, where did they learn that? Oh, wow. Man. Do I look like that, you know, yeah. when I get frustrated or upset, you know, is that how I, you know, vent my, my anger or frustration? Mm -hmm. And, you know, then that, you know, helps me to, to look introspectively to say, man, there's some things in my life that I need to change because my kids are reflecting it right back to me. Um, that wouldn't be able to take place apart from, from being a father, you know. And so, yes, there are joys that you can learn from them. And experience from them, but man, there's different types of, of um, you know, wisdom and, and things mm. that, that 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 wouldn't be developed in in a in a man apart from from being a, a good father to the children. You know, it's just even that was a mindset that I never entered into to being a father with, in terms of being able to learn from them. You know, you always think, okay, I need to teach my kids, you know, X Y Z. You know, I need to, I need to learn this so I can teach them later. Um, but yet to be able, you know, to receive from them, even as a three-year-old, four-year-old, you know, it's uh, it's it's pretty humbling, but it's it's valuable, you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's really it's really valuable. Yeah. And um, and I don't want to see guys miss out on that either.